Having this true curiosity on the Ranveer Show. Since I've met you and since I've begun my Bhairav Sadhana, mm. uh, of course there have been changes in my life and I've spoken about this on the show yeah, multiple yeah. times. I've made a whole podcast on it. I feel like material wishes have been fulfilled like pretty fast, but that's not the mm. main blessing. The main blessing is detachment. Mm. But it's also created this additional life goal in my heart of contributing to creating some bear of temples. Yes. I don't know why. Mm. It's nothing that you told me. You didn't tell me this. Mm. So it's just an independent thought that mm. got created. Mm. Uh, I'm not even saying this from a non-secular place. Right. Uh, this is nothing to do with mm. any other religion mm. or the invasion of mm. India. Mm. It's just my own childlike mm. heart mm. that wants to see a more bear of temples. Correct. Um, it's also the, one of the reasons we're working on that project with Level. Right. Uh, because right. we're trying to get more people right. to chant and eventually the game plan is to monetize that mm. in order to fund these temples, mm. the construction of this. Right. How cool would it be if the temples are constructed in a year from now? Uh, one year is too short a time span, but uh, I do have this idea that to create, uh, so in the last few months during certain practices, this very clear idea came to my mind that, uh, uh, again, he will sit there only it will happen. But the idea is to create eight, at least eight Bhairava temples. Uh, I have the configuration in my head, what will be inside the temple, what kind of vigrahas will be there, how many vigrahas will be there, what is the methodology of worship, puja kaise hona chahiye, maha pe kya paddhati hoga, etc, etc. All that is just, just in a flash it came, this is how it is to be done. Should be eight temples. Uh, but eight, if possible, in specific geographical locations, say one in Bengal, say one in Punjab, uh, one in the north somewhere uh, at the farthest corner, pe ho sakta hai, one in Tamil Nadu, like this. I don't even know what are the other places. It will come on its own dhira dhira as the practices grow. And perhaps inside the temple, there will be a, another Devi Vigraha also, but that depends on the geography of the particular land where the temple is constructed. Inside that, uh, I will not go into the detailed architecture that I have in my head, uh, but what I feel is that if this this project gets along, and it will take time because obviously eight temples are not a, uh, you know, and I want it to be not small temples. Right now, the Bhairava temples that you have, even the best ones are very small uh, on the roadside, something like that. No, this should be something grand, something so... Uh, exquisite, so beautiful, so powerful, both ritualistically and aesthetically, that for centuries it is going to help people connect to Bhairava Dattva. Okay? Mm -hmm. And the other thing that will happen is that his protection will start for the whole nation. Okay. Can I add one small yes. piece of tadka to this? <laughs> the only visual I've mm. had in my head is, so I have a couple of visuals mm. and I'm not making this up. Mm. This is the first time I'm actually telling you mm. this, mm. despite having conversations with you outside right. of this room as mm. well. My first vision is that uh, I get a lowdown of details from you about the actual hmm. traditional way of hmm. creating the temples according to Tantra hmm. Sadhana. Hmm. Uh, but the only thing I want to add here is one of my greatest experiences in life was uh, when I went to Amsterdam and okay. I went to this place called Fondel Park in Amsterdam, which is okay. a local park. Hmm. And people literally just use it to go there and mm. connect with nature and chill. Mm. And I remember sitting in that park in 2015 mm. or 16. Mm. It was a year into beer biceps. Mm. Thinking to myself that why don't we have more public spaces in India? Mm. And as life went forward, I realized we used to have public spaces in India mm -hmm. and they were called temples. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Big temples. Yes. In Mumbai, we only have Siddhi Vinayak, which is that big, where you can actually go and if it's not crowded, you'll get some time to sit there. Mm -hmm. And there is an experience when you actually just sit in Siddhi Vinayak. Right. You, can, you feel extremely calm. Mm -hmm. So my only tadga I want to add here is what you said about aesthetically. Uh, I think there's so many Bhairav worshippers now around me. I see some commonality in all of them, which is that many of them actually had a pretty rough past, mm. uh, which involves intoxication sometimes, lots of pain sometimes. Mm. So I want to build aesthetically such a place that not only does it contain Bhairav energy, but it also calms your mind into nothingness because of that Bhairav energy. So uh, I have certain visions with the same project like I want to be a part of it. I'm a hundred percent sure there's so many people listening to this podcast right now who would gladly be a part of mm. this construction. Mm. 
but couple of questions to you yes of course i'm going to ask you the call to action here for the listeners mm. because lots of people want that mm. the first question i actually want to ask you is how much money does it really cost to build one money will come that is not an issue first you have to create that environment through the japas and all that okay then uh, the right uh, this type of project the right person for making the vigrahas the right kind of yantra of bhairava has to be placed not just the vigraha okay right uh, method the right way of worship has to be there plus every temple must have also an accommodation for a priest who should stay there and continuously worship It's because uh, i may not be there all the time i may go there once in a while but there are few other things in my head also specific details that have come in let's see if baba wants it will happen and yes the other factor that is there is the land getting the land okay um that is the more challenging part actually but those geographical locations you spoke about this is very history channel domain but will it be kind of linked but like I recently found out, actually yesterday from Nilay Shok, that Ujjain lies on the Tropic of Cancer, uh-huh. which I found so fascinating. Mm-hmm. No, so what I am looking at at this moment, I still have don't have a full idea of the all the eight places, but it has to be closer to the border areas. Because Bhairav traditionally is he a he will protect the border areas. If the if this if these kind of if this happens eventually in the long run, if this if this. gets executed it will have a very strong impact on as i say it will have an impact on the nation it's okay. not about an individual protective in, impact you mean and there are certain changes that are going to start in 2 years to and half years in india a uh, period of 10 15 years it's going to be uh, that will require that type of energy <laughs> do you want to say anything no i will just say that baki whatever baba will say if you will it will happen so i i go about all these things with a certain degree of uh, uh, enthusiasm along with detachment which means tomorrow if it doesn't happen it's fine it's not going to affect my practice or my connection to him or anything like that he is the boss you me or anybody else is just an instrument an instrument instrument must always know that instrument ka aukat instrument hi hai the moment you start thinking oh you are doing it you are so important then things There's a part of me that feels a lot of positive aggression towards building it. Yes, is that I I feel that it will happen. I feel that it is, uh, it is a thing that is destined. It will happen, uh, but it will take time. It is not a thing. I am also not in a hurry that it has to happen in one year. But it should start at least one temple should start, and the timeline I have in mind is eight to ten years. Pura art ok art banne me at least ten years lagega. There will always be when you are starting a project of this. and with this intent in your mind you can be rest assured will activate various asuric forces they will try and stop you can you go on <laughs> it is it is the nature of the world it is the nature of the world if you try doing something good then yes, something bad will be some various other things and uh, and that is and the project of this also is the other one has to be very cautious all types of people may come and with the idea that no we want to help and this that but you have to be very careful uh where you can take funds from what are the expectations of those people these are all tricky matters okay can't believe we're doing this live on a podcast <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh reminds me of a very interesting story i remember when the ramakrishna mission was being formed many uh, long ago when sri ramakrishna was not there i think his uh, disciples were there uh <coughs> there was an anecdotal story that somebody um, one businessman or something used to come and those eras used to put in a lot of money and say that i i've brought this money you take it and one of the uh, senior disciples of sri ramakrishna was himself uh, very spiritually advanced he would always very respectfully say no we don't need their money then later somebody asked him why he said that uh, that's because the man is not giving with a very clear intent his his the reason he was donating that money is because somehow the other he got this idea or somebody told him that if you give this monk some karmic problem that he is facing will go away so he says so, so money is a particular thing where easily karmas get transferred really oh very easily the second most easiest thing you mean the way you make money the way you make money the way you take money and everything okay specifically for these kind of of course you cannot filter everything that's the not possible humanly but 
on a broad level if there are people who are willing to say suddenly comes in there may be a lot of people with a lot of money i'm sure the world has a lot of rich people uh, somebody thinks that i'll go and give a huge amount so it is always better to uh, not rush into that think about it meditate on that and follow the guidance that comes from the deities do not use your own mind do not with money greed is a problem you have to be very careful it is all right if the temple takes 20 years no need to rush and in fact without naming anybody i was having this discussion with a spiritual friend of mine some days ago and that's for genetic spiritual organizations all the ones that i see today as such i have nothing for against nothing with them neither with their practitioners my best of luck to them please carry on whatever you're doing if it's helping you very good but whenever there's a spiritual organization and it takes a exponential jump materialistically like suddenly there's an explosion of ashrams everywhere and there's a huge amount of money involved and this and that and that's an exponential jump okay which normal course may it is not that easy to make that kind of materialistic jump my deepest hunch is that there are some other forces involved in it not only deities oh no deity nobody gives you exponential amount of money at a very short time nobody no deity will give you that but lower beings can if you engage with them so that's the question i ask when ramakrishna mission that's i consider them to be uh, reasonably so uh, spiritual and authentic so there if you if you read the history they had to struggle for money swami vivekananda's uh, samadhi uh, they say that it took uh, decades before they could gather the money to make a small you go there to belur mot you'll see the samadhi of swami ji uh, that is there uh, so it took a lot of money time and effort uh, go back even earlier say when the traditional mathas are there where say the uh, when adi shankara must have created his matha i'm just sure think, how long would it have taken for them to establish an organization to establish a practice establish the materialistic aspect how long might might it have taken you know nothing good comes at this pace if you are going very fast then one day the fall will also be equally fast that is a thumb rule of nature and it is never ever going to get violated are you suggesting that again lower beings are involved possibly Uh, i'm i'm not suggesting anything i'm just saying <laughs> you're saying i'm this. i'm just saying that whenever i see an exponential uh, growth of uh, um, uh, power power in a spiritual organization uh, and material assets and all that exponential growth not not normal course like it's going at a certain pace and then suddenly in a span of 5 10 years it goes everywhere in the world पता नहीं मार्स में भी बना दिया एक आश्रम टाइप्स हाँ तो देन माय फर्स्ट थॉट इज दैट व्हिच डेट ही गिव दिस इवन महालक्ष्मी विल आल्सो नॉट गिव यू दैट अमाउंट ऑफ मनी इन दैट स्मॉल स्पैन ऑफ टाइम इफ यू आर ए बिजनेसमैन एंड यू हैव डन वेल दैट आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट प्रोसेस कैन गिव यू एंड दैट आई रिकॉग्नाइज ऑल्सो यू माइट हैव डन इधर उधर थोड़ा करप्शन दैट्स ओके दैट आई अंडरस्टैंड बट इफ यू आर कन्फेसिंग दो आई एम आई एम जस्ट जस्ट वर्शिपिंग द ब्राह्मण एंड आई डोंट लुक एट हियर देयर बट आई हैव वन आश्रम्स टेन इन मून एंड थ्री इन मार्स तो देन आई थिंक यहां से कैसे बन गया कहां से बस आया If you enjoyed this clip from the Ranveer show we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics so explore the channel because there's something for everyone